Supporters of Venezuela's alien president normally chant, Chavez won't be moved. But turning the well-known catch cry around, hundreds march through the streets of this opposition stronghold, chanting, Chavez, where are you? The march was led by, but not limited, to students. They accused the government of lying about the true condition of their cancer-stricken president, who has not been seen or heard in public for nearly three months now. The Constitution contemplates the naming of a medical team that in these cases should evaluate whether the president is fit to continue to govern or not. Since Friday, authorities have been obliged to repeatedly refute a wave of rumors about the condition of the president, whom they say remains under treatment in this Caracas military hospital. The government insists that the students are being manipulated by outside powers and by the conservative opposition. But with each passing day, even Chavez supporters are asking themselves when or if they will have their president again. Officials say only that Chavez is now undergoing chemotherapy in good spirits, as he continues to, quote, fight for his life. Chavez has sacrificed his life so totally to his people that he put his own health at risk, and that is why he's ill now. The government-controlled National Assembly insists that President Chavez can take as long as he needs to recover. But opponents won't have it. National Guardsmen stood firm in front of the Supreme Court to keep away the protesters, demanding that the judicial body appoint the independent medical team immediately. And while Venezuela waits to see what will happen to their president, the once again fractured opposition tries to show that it is inseparable. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Caracas.